right, we'll call the meeting to order at 6 o'clock. First on the agenda, are there any changes or additions? Yes, if we could add a point part-time permanent employee to the EMS department. Anything else? That's it. Next, approve minutes. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? The ayes have it. Community concerns. David? Do you want to join us up here? Where are you going? <laughs> Pull up a seat or. Yeah, it's fine. Very good. So we received, I think Dan received a note indicating that you'd like to open a pub. Yes. Okay. So Dan, maybe you can tell him about yeah, the process. Yeah, you know, you, you asked us to meet with the board just to discuss it. I'm not sure what you... Yeah, I, I, I guess we'll let it come to ask the select board, the, the, the chief of police. <laughs> yeah, just trying to go through the process for mm -hmm. process. So tell us a little bit about your project. Tell us a little bit about your project. Um, I would like to open a pub here in town. Uh, put some pool tables in. We're in a good, clean place. Um, I'm 41 now. And I've been doing asphalt for 19 years. I'm funny. My body can't take it much longer. I'm looking for a different future for myself. And a lot of people like to have another pub around with some pool tables and other things going on. Do you have an idea for a location? I know a lot of people in this town. They have a lot of respect for me. So I honestly don't think I'd really have a whole lot of problems. I looked on Craigslist commercials down and they got the what the old corner pocket was and commercial space around here is not a whole lot. Sure. The process for applying for the licenses and whatnot is going to be like these through the Department of Labor Control. Yes. Yeah. Us, there's the phase piece there. But, um, I, I don't have any objection to the research in it, find a little time to start starting going through the process today, but I appreciate you coming and give us a heads up. And, uh, I haven't even talked to any more of the buildings. Um, uh, I heard that, like I said, I had to come here first and talk to you guys and just go for the proper precautions. Comments? No, I, I, I don't know what the procedure is, so. Well, really, you know, it starts with the, the zoning, making sure the building yeah. is zoned for it, and then, you know, um, then you would see Sarah, the town clerk, to fill out an uh, application for a liquor license. And then we always ask everybody you know, that's going to open up something that's like that, that they're serving alcohol, to meet with the chief so that you can coordinate and help foresee problems and know what to expect on their end, too. So I think you know, that's probably one of the more important pieces of it so that everybody understands how the, the PD is here to help you right. with stuff like that. So. Yeah, I know a few of the guys yeah. that were yeah. over there, they lifted the same gym I go Is there a vetting process for the owner? I think that's really the liquor control process. Oh, okay. So yeah. Have to get the application yeah, you'd have to get the application from Sarah and then, and then go through that. So. Yeah. Then you'll have to come back to you guys for that? Yes. Or? All right. How about yep. zoning administrators? Do you think you have a good resource for you if you're looking for uh, where the zoning is correct for that? What buildings you might have knowledge of? Is very in tune with what's going on in the community? Yeah. As far as what buildings may be available or something like that? Is there any good resource to talk to? There's a couple of large property owners and you know, commercial property owners in town that thought about idea to touch base with them and see if they have anything open or available. Okay. All right. I appreciate it. Very good. Good luck. Thank All right. Thank you, guys. Well, Thanks. Any other community concerns? All right. You're done. Any liquor control? No. New business. Uh, do you know if anyone from EMS is joining tonight? 
No, there's not. No, okay. Yeah, I'm prepared for it anyway, so. So add uh, Steve Foster as a volunteer to the EMS roster. I move we add Steve Foster as a volunteer to the EMS roster. Second. I have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? The ayes have it. And appoint a part time uh, EMS. Yeah, um, Colby Massey? Massey? Massey. Massey. Um, he's been with us before as a volunteer. Um, he wants Did you say to come. Colby? Yes. Um, he would like to come to us now. We have the part time permanent position that is open. And he would like to fill that position. Like I said, we, we all know him. He's worked with us before. So he's, we're recommending that he fill that position. The motion to appoint Cole Massey is a current part time EMS employee at $16.25 per hour, working no more than 23 hours a week with no balance effectively. Second. I have a motion and a second to appoint Coley Massey to the EMS squad. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? The ayes have it. Discuss the select board schedule. So I have reached out to each of you individually and to Dan uh, due to an upcoming uh, change in my schedule in September with another board. Um, I'd like to propose that we move the schedule instead of every other week, move to first and third Mondays at 6 o'clock. I don't have a problem with that. Like, I think it's a good idea to be more consistent and predictable. It's a little easier than yeah. every other, <laughs> actually. So the first one is a holiday. So we'd have to probably make this change. And actually, then look the, we, we looked at it as a staff, and we have kind of a recommendation for the board. All right. So what we would do is we would continue to have a meeting on the 26th, just like normal. And then we would actually skip this meeting mm -hmm. on the second and the next meeting would actually be on the 16th okay. so that would be our one and only september meeting that would actually be the third september and then going into october we would just pick up with the first and third there okay. because there's got to be a point where <laughs> we either have meetings back to back or we skip a little bit and it just made more sense just to skip a little bit you know, this time of the year, we're not budget cycle or anything, so. Um, so that's our recommendation. So we do the 26th and then the 16th. And then from there, we would be on the first and third schedule after that. So we would skip the first meeting in September. Okay. We could do a long stretch. Just because that falls into a, there's five Mondays in September. Right. So it's going to be a lengthy one. It is going to be a lengthy one. And, you know, and, and I don't think we have a full quorum at the next board meeting either. So, I mean, the 16th would, would you know, anticipate that being a long meeting because there's some things that are there. Um, we have to do road acceptance from the, the hearings that we've had yeah. on site. So we have those five roads that I, need to have, you know, the board to make a decision on. So there will be a lot on that one. But once again, I know at the 26th meeting, I don't have a, a full or a full board either. Should so, we do the 3rd and the 16th? Um, if you're that's, not that's up to the. I know I won't be here on the 16th. I was actually going to take vacation that week. Uh, OK. There's <laughs> <laughs> a little bit of, you know. I'm just. I can come in for the meeting. That doesn't bother me. But. I'm just a little nervous that there's a few things that need to get on the agenda. And exactly. Um, yeah, we could also schedule one if we want to do that and, and keep. Or the 10th. The, the 10th or the 9th. Or the 30th, whatever. Yeah, and then switch after that. Any thoughts? The 9th and the 16th? Hmm? You're saying the 9th and the 16th? Well, if we can do the ninth, that's totally fine. I just won't be able to be there. So I don't know what everyone else is. That's so I would have, a, once forward. again, then I wouldn't have a, a full board for some of those decisions that you guys need to make either. Yeah, I think it'd be better yes. not to have it if we aren't going to have a quorum or if we're not sure. 
I don't think it's a quorum. It's not a quorum issue. It's a. It's the the full board. Or we could work at scheduling a meeting sometimes in there. They have, you know, a special meeting to to do some business as well. Let's go with the sixteenth. We'll do, we'll do okay. the other. In order to have a long meeting, in order to make this happen. So. And if we have one on the tenth, it might just lighten that one up a little bit. Want to do that? Or you just want to skip that one? It's not problematic. We're, we're needing to have a whole board for some of these decisions. So, so we'll work the rest yeah. of the So you're going to be definitely going on the 16th? Mm -hmm. um, I'm here the 9th and the 23rd, but not the 16th. So but that, we would have to go to the 10th to have a, a full board because Chris won't be here on the 9th. I won't be here on the 10th. And you won't be here on the 10th. I, you know, I don't mind coming in for the evening for the meeting on the 3rd oh, if you want to respond. It's, fine. Fine. it's okay. yeah. Yeah, that kind of stinks. Yeah. I don't, I don't like that. We can circle back, I guess, and figure out maybe adding one in between now and... and Judy, how long are you going to be out? 10th to the 19th. 10th to the 19th. <laughs> we, and, could, and we could come back in and, and well, you know, we could come back in and do the 23rd. And, just to throw another wrench in, I'm out of the country from the 18th through October 1st. <laughs> We're not going to get everyone. We're not. I mean, and then, you know, I have always done my best <laughs> to uh, make sure that I have a full it board. But sometimes pain. it's it can be a problem for me. Um, well, the, the you can be available to phone, can uh, I'm going to, well, it's only six hours off, I suppose. It wouldn't be too bad, but. <laughs> so th there won't be. From now until the middle of October, just so everybody understands, that the first meeting in October, I will not have a full board. Yeah, that's, there's some things that need to, I think, happen before I, that. Exactly. Yeah. That's, that's my, 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 my kind of my quandary with this. Yeah. Is how do I, because those, those are the things that I look for, um, you know, when I'm scheduling those things you know, that I know that the full board needs to weigh in on. You said the 26th, there won't be a full board? No. Well, what about if we did the third? That's what I'm saying. I think the third would be it. I think we should do it. I think we should too. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Third of September. September. Because that will be the only time in there where there looks like I have everybody available. Okay. Yeah, so, I'll just, are I you going to do on the third and the 16th or just the third? Third and the sixteenth, and I'll put the important stuff on the third meeting. Okay. And um, <laughs> if need be, I'll just come in work that day and take another day off. It's, it's not. It's not something that you know. It's it, it's staycation sort of thing. Yeah, I can reschedule. All right. Thanks, Sam. Do we need any sort of motion to make this change? Or? You do need a motion. Okay. You're, you're going to adjust your regular um, meeting schedule beginning in September from the f from every other week to the first and third Monday. Actually, why don't you just do it with the first and third Mondays beginning with September 23rd. What about just October, October 16th. 16th. No, 16th. 16th. 16th, yes, I'm sorry. So beginning with at September 16th, oh, okay. the meetings will then be First and third. First and third. Since in, it, it is one of those things for the for the regular meetings, the board has to make a motion to set the regular meeting schedule. Anything else can be a special meeting, but regular meetings are a little bit different. So I make a motion that beginning on September 16th, we move our scheduled select board meetings to the first and third Mondays of the month. Second. A uh, motion and a second. Any further discussion? All in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed? The ayes have it. Thank you. Sorry to cause the problem. All right. Next on the agenda, request to use Oxbow and the fee waiver. So I'm here representing Stowe Resort. Um, we have a uh, Oxbow Resort and Oxbow Resort Hotel. Um, so we have two
one at the Lamoille Nature Center, one at the Lamoille, um, I always get this one wrong, Lamoille Home Health, no, Lamoille Family Services, and one at the Laraway School, and there'll be about 100 employees um, participating, and we would like to meet at the Oxbow Park because it's convenient to all three of those locations. So we would be meeting between 7.30 and 8, and then we would be shoveling or carpooling to those three sites. And then coming back between 12 and 1 o'clock and having a catered picnic. Um, probably would be done between 2 and 2.30. Um, and so we're thinking 50 cars, probably as well as we want to park there. And then we'd like to use the facility with tables and um, such um, for the picnic. And uh, we were just requesting a fee waiver. Um, all of the money is non from the nonprofit. We put into grants for those three organizations, plus um, materials for the things we're doing. We're building some um, bird houses and bat houses at the nature center. We're building a. We're moving the story walk for the um, mm -hmm. Wild Family Center so that it's on their property, will be on their property now, so we're building a whole new story walk there. And at um, Blairway, we have a bunch of different projects. Um, so um, we'd also like, I don't know if you waive the $500 fee, but we don't really have a mechanism to pay the deposit. Um, we could put it on a credit card if you had that as an option, and we would fully expect that it will be beautiful when we leave. And if you have a project there you want us to do, just let us know. We'll get a group together and we'll clean up some area there for you. <laughs> so I'm hearing fee and deposit ban. So to clear that up, the $500 is a deposit. It's a security deposit. Uh, we just don't have a mechanism for checks anymore. Yeah, I understood. Um, As a fee. The fee is $50. Okay. For so we're looking to waive both of these. Yes. Yes. I would make a motion that we waive both the fee and the deposit for the use of the Oxbow. By what's the name of the group? Um, Stone Mountain Resort. Okay. It's Epic the Epic Promise Foundation. Foundation. Epic yeah. Foundation. Yeah. 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 Just so that that's the non I have a motion. Second. Good. Good to just add in that motion that you're also approving the use of the park too. I was going to do them separately, okay. but <laughs> sure. <laughs> okay, you can. It's, it's in there. <laughs> I have a motion and a second for the uh, approval of waiving the fee and the deposit, along with the application uh, to use the Oxbow Park on September 14th for Epic Promise Foundation. Any further discussion? Yes. I wish we'd done this in two pieces because I have no problem with the fifty dollars, but the five hundred dollars is is a deposit. It's not even. I don't know why we're waiving it because it's it's a deposit you get back if everything's okay. Right. And I don't know about setting a precedent by doing this. That's all. That's all I want to say. I, I semi agree with you, Brian, in that um, somehow some kind of document or a letter saying that. If there is damage or expenses to the town, then we would expect those to be covered by the group, okay. even if they're not profit. Right. Could that work, Dan? No, no, no. Works for me. Okay. I have no problem with that. No. So, how, do we put that to re that that revise the motion? I also don't have a certificate of liability either. Yeah. So, that needs to happen, right? Your, your insurance. Oh, yeah, we'll, we'll have that insurance too, sorry. The person on the that's So if we're gonna do it that way we have to change that the vote just now. Yep. And okay. Yep. So there's a motion on the table. So we need to amend we can, it? Well we can probably vote it down and start over it would be the okay. easiest way to go at this point. All, right. <laughs> All in favor say aye. Opposed? No. 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 The motion has failed. So back to the drawing board, I have an application for Epic Promise Foundation for utilization of the park on September 14th, between the hours of 7.30 and 8-ish, and again between noon and 2. Well, the first part, to make it easy, I'll make a motion we waive the $50. Okay. 
Second. Motion and a second to waive the fifty dollars deposit or fifty dollars fee. Any further discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Approved. The motion is carried. Next. Make a motion for the use of the park on that day. Correct. I want to do this in three seconds. Well, I think you can do. No, let me think about that. You can do it then contingent on their, um, on getting in their liability. And then the last piece is just the, okay. uh, and contingent on a satisfactory letter saying they'll cover the cost. I think you can do it as one. Right? Yes. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> you want me to regurgitate that? <laughs> I think the intent of the motion is for them to use the park, for them to sign a liability waiver, and to provide us with an insurance certificate. Does that sound right? Uh, you got it. We're cooking with gas. And then the, the other part is to follow up if, if there's any damages or well, yeah, cost to yeah. town. That, that's the liability the waiver. That's liability. Yeah, yeah that's what, well, the liability waiver would be that, that they, the that town, they, would, that the waiver is for us, basically. Yeah, that they would agree, that to, they agree to take the to okay. pay for any damages. Uh, yeah. We're saying the same thing. Yeah, it's not numbers. really a waiver. It's kind of a promissory. No, Let's have a motion and a second. second. Any further discussion? <laughs> All those in favor say aye. Aye. The motion is carried. Thank you. We usually say no dogs at this time. We do, with the leash laws. Yeah. With the leash laws. Yeah. So we'll have to do that. Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> All right, next, uh, request to work in the right way, Donnie Boy. That's a uh, conduit, electrical conduit across the road on the Elmore Mountain Road, a lower Elmore Mountain Road, which tends to come out down from the Elmore Mountain Road. Uh, it's something we talked about last fall. We put in the, the driveway and all the power on the other side. We decided late in the year that between Water and Light Department and the Town of Moore's and Road Foreman that we should wait until summer to cross the road and get dried up and work so wet. So we're just putting the conduit across the road uh, for power and utility to a private residence. You're digging, you're trenching, digging, trenching? Trenching, yes. We yep. have a trench across the road. Okay. Put it back to town spec, of course. Repair. Kenny Grimes is a contractor actually doing the work and uh, we worked out with Morsel Water and White where you're sleeving the condo, the primary condo will be sleeved. So so. Make a motion we approve the, uh, the work on the right of way um, subject to approval of the foreman, the highway foreman. Well, he's, he's looked at it now. Typically speaking, we want it four feet below the lowest point in the road, just so if we go in and maintain later, then we don't worry about hitting it too much. Yeah, I think, I think uh, yeah. water and light wants to see the lower, so you'll be all right. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> yeah. Second. Uh, motion and a second to, for the request to, to work in the right of way. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Yeah, it's have it. Motion is carried. Thank you. Thanks, Tommy. All right. We on old business. Approve road policy. So at our last meeting, we discussed some changes. Dan, it looks like you came back with yeah. some suggested edits. Yes, and I have one more. It's not in here, and I want to talk to the board about it. And you, you don't necessarily have to approve tonight, but um, section C, road and access standards, paragraph two, urban road specifications. And I started thinking about this in quite honestly, the, the upper Munson Road that could potentially came to mind. And one of these things called to for roadway of 18 feet you know, paved. Um, that's a nine foot lane. Um, if we're gonna take over a road like that and we're gonna plow it, that's gonna make it pretty hard on our plow guys. We're carrying 10 and a half foot plows on the front of a lot of our trucks. A lot of our trucks, you know, that road in particular may be plowed by either a single axle or a tandem. You know, um, I, I think they probably should be a minimum width of 22 feet. Just because if not, we're forcing our guys to, to really cross center on. Um, even and if, if it's a snowstorm and there's no shoulder, there's gotta be a place to get it off the road. 
it just, you know, um, I think it just makes a little bit more sense. Nine foot, if you think of your average parking space is nine foot wide. And that's what we pull into going slow. If we've got a 25, 30 mile an hour road, you know, that's two vehicles coming at each other. That makes it 50 mile an hour virtually. I, I don't think nine or 18 feet with the pavement is enough. And I think we learned some of that um, when we did stagecoach. For a while, we had stagecoach down to 22 feet. That didn't work. We widened it back out to 24, Randolph's 24. I just don't think, you know, a nine foot road width, you know, a lane width for something like that, it works. It can be marked and we can slow traffic down, but nine foot of pavement to keep a plow on, you know, I just don't think it's wide enough for us to maintain it properly, safely. This is the big thing, safely. I Are you wanting that 22? I think it should be 22. And once again, if you go up and you look at that road that we're talking about, and working with the show vans, you know, that's pretty narrow road if you start thinking about putting a plow in it and if you're setting up in a truck your perspective changes a lot you're, um, and you've got cars and a lot of things going on I think if we're going to maintain it I think 22 should be the minimum will that impact the other show van development that we've already looked at it's no already, well, this would be going forward I mean you know I you know that one actually is, is pretty wide anyway pretty that's wide. that's why yeah you know, um, I don't think there's an issue there with that one and once again you know in that particular Set of circumstances, um, you, you could look at it and you could accept it. But I think moving forward, you know, if we're putting together a standard that we're going to yep. try to to have a service well into the future, I think 22 feet should be what we're doing. I just think, you know, I try to think of the guys out there maintaining something in the winter at night with cars and trucks coming at them. And I, I think, you know, safety-wise, it's 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 hard on them enough. They're out there a lot of hours. Um, and, Put yourself up in that truck with that 10 foot 11 foot plow out there in front of you on a wing sometimes doesn't give you a lot of room to, to work is that um c2 yes i almost don't know it's 22 is way but you know i think for something like we're talking here i, I think it's fine you know if, if yeah. you get a, if you get a different road where there'd be more length to it and you and you want to start up in the speeds on something like that where you're starting to go 50 mile an hour then I think it's going to have to be 24, but I think these are 25 to 35 mile an hour roads. Well, we're changing it. Could we put something like that in there? Maybe a, a longer road or, because well, again, if they're 11, 11 foot, they're taking their good half because... No. No. Um, Chief, I have mentioned to you, I didn't know what you would think about it. Either that or clean the mailbox. Higher the speed, the wider the road really should be. Yeah. And you know, the plow on. Nine foot lane tight. Yeah. I think it's in our best interest to spell it out for contractors so that we can hand them the sheet. They don't have any questions as to what kind of road they're building, the speeds it's going to be traveled on, and, and then what the width requirement is going to be. Right. And spell it right out. So what about, what about three? It has a 16 foot. 16. That's one that's going to be a private, private. road. Mm -hmm. So that's, never, that's not ever going to be something that we're going to maintain and take care of. Okay. All so. right. I think you know what I should do is you know, for right now leave it at 22, and I, I think I'd like to get with the chief and um, the highway crew and, and just take another look at it and give you a little better definition. But I felt in this in this particular case because I know people will be reading this one right now. I don't see anything that I would say, yeah, it's got to be 24. We're going to have 50 mile an hour traffic. Stagecoach, I you know I, that was 22 for a while, and I think we kind of learned our lesson on that one that. Those 11 foot travel lanes out there on a country road where traffic's at 50 mile an hour don't necessarily work. Um, but, you know, I, even a. When you have a couple of bicycles in it, it makes it downright. Yeah, right. Exactly, you know, and <laughs> so. Yeah. So, the, so the private road mineral, like we looked at Bollinger Road, which is private. So. Right, yeah, right. and that, that's the one we're considering. What, and it, I don't know what the width of that road is. But if you look at the number one, that one, for us in that zone, we would have a, um, a minimum of 20, 20 feet. Okay. Plus a two foot wide shoulder on each side. So that would be for that? So that would be 24 foot wide gravel road. This is really talking about something that's paved, you know. Okay, this is a paved. Yep. Now you, you said keep it at 22, but it's 18. 
You want us to change it to 22 to Yes, please. Yes. Okay. At least, you know, if, if you're comfortable with it, if you wanted to look and see some examples, but I felt like if we're here, we're working on this, and I wanted to at least mention my concerns about that, that 18 foot width. Um, I, you know, I, that's my recommendation. I, I think if you really stop and think about, you're pulling into a parking space because that's the nine foot width that we're talking about there. And then you put a plow in front of that. Yep. That makes sense. Yeah. And I don't know, but maybe you don't think making it 24? I'm fine with that, but a 22 and is kind of my minimum. Case by case, we, if all of a sudden we see the road is, doesn't recommend that, we can change it. Hmm. Rather than going back and trying to change this whole thing, we can well, give him a waiver of two foot. Why don't you a uh, minimum of 24 with less prior approval of from the select board? Yeah, that's what I think. Yep. That way we get this done. Yep. The uh, general policy roads at section B, number nine, talking about the uh, dead end roads. So you get the 50 foot right away in there, but I don't see anything about the end of the road turnaround dimensions. Yeah. Like a radius. It's got the designated snow dump area, the 50 foot right away, but we need something for the end of the road so for truck turn around. Somehow we must have lost that. Did we ever have that in there? No, I think it was added last week. Last time I looked at it. I thought we did because I thought it was 100 foot. Maybe we didn't. You really didn't take anything out. You just added stuff in. Yes, added that in there. Mm -hmm. So I minimum. We talked about 100 foot turning radius. 100 foot turning radius. It sounded like we had two different designs. You could either have a, a large 100 foot circle or you could have a T shaped, such so that they plow straight in, back around, and drive out. The hammerhead. It would depend on the lay of the land, basically. But it would give the contractor the option to do two different designs. But. So uh, either a 100 foot radius or a, the mm -hmm. hammerhead approved by the uh, highway foreman. Mm -hmm. Well, the, the sentence of 50 foot right away must be due to the town. That's. Um, we had talked about that snow dump area would be needed to the town. I think that's where it came in, but it, dimensions were different. Well, we've talked about that because we talked about it with the Menage project too, and we talked about it when we were up for yeah. Belanger. Yeah. Talked yeah. about a hammerhead there, I think, right? Yeah. Yes. yeah. What was it, 50 or 100? It was a 100 foot radius for the for the turnaround on a dead end oh, okay. road. But a 50 foot, For 50 foot wide. snow dump? No, the snow dump, you know, we can work with people on a snow dump just so that there's okay. one that's designated. You know, if we have one, some people may have two. You know, they may say, you know, the, we can, you put your snow here and you put it here, great, it's needed to us and we, we can work with that. Okay. But I think, you know, this is particular at the end of the road, there's a turnaround there. And I think we were talking of a 50, a 100 foot radius on the turnaround. So that would be deeded as well. I like the language you had, the 100 foot radius. Or, or, a, or a hammerhead approved by the, the highway yeah. foreman. Does there have to be anything like saying no parking during winter? Um, we have that by ordinance. Okay. So anything in the, in the right of way by ordinance, you can't park on any town road. you need a motion to accept this with the changes we've now made? Yes, please. Make a motion that we accept the Morristown Road policy with the changes uh, specified tonight. Second. I have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Do you want an effective date on that, Dan? Well, it'll be, it'll be the meeting. It'll be tonight, the okay. meeting. And just for clar clarification purposes, this is for the town road policy with modifications to B9 to add, uh, to, to modify that to include a 100 foot turning radius or a hammerhead approved by the uh, highway supervisor. 
and to section C2 to change the width of the road to 24 feet. Any further discussion? The 24 feet, that's with your shoulder? Yes, that, that's a total paved width. Hearing none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? The ayes have it, motion is carried. Yes, thank you. Next on the agenda, approve the warrants. Make a motion to approve the warrants. Second. I have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? All those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? The ayes have it. Motion is carried. Next, TA report. And just two things. Um, downtown paving should probably resume next week for the final coat of asphalt. So I think most of the structures are all done. A little bit of stuff going on with that. And our new highway foreman, uh, Kevin Barrow, started the day. So moving along with awesome. that. Awesome. So. Can we have him uh, attend a meeting? Yeah, I was going to. But today was his first day, so he's, you know. No excuse. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Figured I'd give him a break on his first day. I know. Not signing off. Any questions for Dan? Select board concerns. Judy? Select board Oh, thank you. Yeah, they did a great job. I've heard a lot of good comments. That's quick. Yeah. I've also heard really positive things. Right? None. I had one. It was the green light down. Um, Bridge Street is out, but I see it's fixed already. Mm -hmm. And everything, you know, sidewalks are good, the roads are, I think they're doing a wonderful job. That's it. Okay. I'm good, thanks. I am also good. Any other business? Make a motion to adjourn. Second. A motion and a second to adjourn. All in favor say aye. 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 Woo! Hey. Adjourn. Good job. Look at that.